I'm just thinking about you. Always dreaming about you. Hey everyone, Fetalist Blessings here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys a mosaic art that I'm doing. I was inspired by a YouTuber that I follow and her name is Sharon. She's so fabulous here. Um, I watch her channel. She's has very nice DIYs and she shows you decorating ideas, everything. A nice lady. So I was watching her videos and she did a mosaic wall art that's Pier 1 inspired. And I just love the way she did it. And I told her I'm gonna comment and I'm gonna make one of I'm gonna make one of my own. And um, yeah, so I'm here to share it with you guys what I'm gonna do. And excuse my voice, I'm kind of her horse. I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm a little under the weather. So please excuse my voice. I'm going to leave a link below in my description box so you guys can go and check out her video that she did on her mosaic um, wall panel so you guys can see her design because it's very nice. Okay, we're going to use some um, silver paint. I have three different kinds, metallic and regular. And I have a little gold shimmer. I don't know if I'll use that. And I have glitter. And I have some little brushes to paint on the paint with. And the mirrors I'm using, um, I got some Dollar Tree mirrors, which I had from before. So I'll be using those to do the pieces for the mosaic. And I have my board here that I'll be using. The canvas board. And the size I have is 18 by 36 and at my store I pay $10 for this board and I have two of these boards because I'm making two panels and I have my large glue gun because um, the design I'm making with the glue I would like to use the large glue gun to get better effect and please everyone if you're not used to handling mirrors, please use gloves while you're handling the broken pieces. I'm used to handling the mirrors so they don't cut me, but I would like for you to wear gloves. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, everyone, right here, I'm just going to show you how I break up the mirror pieces. And now we're just going to start laying out the broken pieces in any pattern that we choose to. Remember, it's your mosaic art. Any pattern you choose to do is perfectly fine. And now that we have a pattern, I'm going to start to glue them down. I'm using the E6000 to glue down the larger pieces. Always dreaming about you. And I'm just using the glue gun to glue down the other small pieces. Now with this mosaic art, we are not going to grout the panel. We're just going to put the glass down and glue them down and leave them the pattern that we like and no grout this time you guys no and now we're going to start with the other half of the panel which is the glue gun as you see me i'm making patterns with the glue gun just spraying it all around just make a nice swiggly pattern this technique is what caught my eye when i was watching sharon with Sharon, she's so fabulous doing this wall art. Hers is bigger than mine, and she adds more glass and more pattern. As so I'd like you to go over and see hers and check her panel out. But I love this with she did with the glue. I think it's really nice. All right, everyone. I was going to add paint like I told you at the beginning, but I changed my mind. I'm not going to add no paint. I'm just going to add the Mod Podge and add some glitter. 
I think it would look much nicer if I just add some glitter to the um, glue the glue pattern that I made. And I'll be using the large glitter flakes, not the small glitter flakes, the large one. All right, everyone, here's the finished look. I add both panels above my TV in my living room. That's what I wanted them for because I had this wall was blank for the longest time. I was going to hang my TV up, but then I changed my mind and said I'll hang some wall art up. So I'm so glad that I saw Sharon's video to inspire me to make this mosaic art piece. And I love them. I think they look very nice with the sparkle on top. Gives you two dimension, two different patterns. The broken glass and then the the zigzag effect from the glue gun. It gives you two different textures. So I like it. And just to let everyone know, I did use my command strips to hang these. Most of my wall art, I use the command strips to, uh, to hang them up with. And like I told you, you can find them at Walmart. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on and seeing the artwork that I did for today. I hope, again, I've inspired you to do something nice to put in your home decor. <laughs> and as always, remember to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. Bye-bye, everyone.